Hey guys, JT here with another run of my uh, scratch custom built XO1, the best way I can put it. Um, I am running some actual better batteries in here. I forgot when I had ran it before a couple of times. Uh, the LiPo's I was running, even though they were 3S, 5000 milliamp, 30 Cs, they weren't the best. I've had them forever and a day. And it's a big difference in performance of the two. So I figured to give this XO1 a little bit of justice, I would... Uh, Take this out and try to run it real quick. See if we can get this thing to go straight. Get it coming around here. Make sure no cars come behind me. And I have ABC turned on too. So it's going to be a tire thing. Let me see if I can turn this up. Dial this up just a little bit more. There we go. Let's get this thing to run straight. And it's a car coming around. I think he's coming this way. I don't know what he's doing. Okay gonna turn AVC up more because we need it try to get down here and come straight almost got it up to full speed let's come back up I've been trying to avoid uh Spending a lot of money on tires, but it looks like I may have to open up the RC bank and get some uh, tires for it. Try this one more again. I can almost get it there. No cars are coming. Try this again. the car real quick let this car go by maybe I need to get a uh, I don't have a stabilizer bar and stuff in here so maybe we'll get that put in here as well the stabilizer set you know same one that's used on the uh, Traxxas Slash and 4x4 and the stand 4x4 and better tires and a little bit more weight is going to help this as well Turn the, the ABC up a little bit more so it's handled a little bit better, which uh, it needs. That's probably almost up to full speed. Making sure ain't no car coming. Last thing I want to do is hit somebody. For some reason, coming down, I am losing traction. But going back this way, I'm good. And I still have to do a couple of adjustments on this car as well. Uh, like I got too much toe in. Um, when I was putting this thing together, oh look at my body's up on the far end. Got a little fender bender right here. Uh, when I was putting this together, I didn't adjust everything to spec. So don't think every XO one is gonna act like this. And the beauty about how I have this setup is I can go to low speed with this radio and that's full low speed right there. If I just wanted to just drive it around mildly, I could do that. Or I could go to medium speed. The steering is off. I know I'm a stickler about my steering be off. My body keeps coming up on the end too. And this may be happening. I did raise um, the car up a little bit and I did kind of crash it right there. So that's rubbing a little bit right there. This is going to be medium speed here. Which is probably about the speed that I kind of wanted it to be at, which is this right here going. I want to take it like to small tracks and stuff and be able to run it and be able to control it and run it. It's just the one thing I think that hurts this car is the weight. It does need to be a little bit heavier. 
Which I can always weigh this thing down some. But the main test here was that I raised the suspension up to the, uh, I think it was third hole on all four corners, closest to the outside corners. Because it was rubbing real bad. And I wanted to see the difference in performance for this. Of course, it's still going to hit and scrape some. But I think more or less like this is controllable. Here this goes again. Wow. All right, we're going to run it on six seconds. All right, turn it, run it up on high speed and just get our, get our thrills out. I'm gonna have to fix that. I may have to do a little trimming right here to keep this from getting up in there because I see what's happening. Uh, it got probably folded up in there once when I was running and just continually doing it. So I may run it without the body on in a minute just to get my feel. Matter of fact, let me do that real quick. Take this body off and run this real quick without the body on it. All right, test this real quick with the body off. You gotta get better, better runs. Maybe I should put a truck body on this. What do you guys think? So funny, once the body comes off a car, how much better it runs. Got a friend who's got a uh, UDR, and he took the body off of it and ran it, and man, it's like night and day different. Just like this right here. I know bodies catch a lot of air and mess with aerodynamics and stuff. Same thing as what we're seeing here with this. Connectors flying all over the place. <laughs> come on back to me. Come on back to me. Showing off how good your bearings are. So anyway, guys, that's a run of this. I wanted to get this out, test it, or test it with... Uh, these modifications made to it real quick so runs better with the buy-off I may have to do some whole stuff in the body for better aerodynamics and do some trimming but as always guys don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos thanks for watching